You're listening to the Sports Coma, your new number one podcast on everything Saints, Pelicans, and a lot more. And now, here's your host, Big Q in the Guys. the sports coma with big q and the guys we are back we are back we are back and we're going to talk about uh more detail we're going to stand out the saints talk the draft talk of course dc uh during break was animated about the fact that what animated he would not take what, animated there is guys with the pick he, he feels I that, say be- that i said i would take Darius guys if i take Darius guys we have to trade mark ingram you seem to think we're gonna take Darius guys and let him sit like he's some damn quarterback or something. I'm merely Rookie saying, running backs transition very easily, man. If you get Darius guys, you got to trade Mark Ingram, man. If Point you, blank period. If Yo, you, he going to walk at is, the end of the year for that's, nothing. That's not a rule saying that you it's have a rule. to trade It's a Saints him. rule. It's no rule. It's a Saints rule. The bottom line is you we have, do the same thing like need, we did with Reggie. You Bush can use Mark three running back man. systems. No, you Saints can. have done that before. Not with the Mark like Ingram, guys, man, that can you're I Can I finish my my point? Mark Ingram and Elvin Kamara are basically two starters that play. They play one and two. They're in there at the same time on many plays. If Darius, uh, excuse me, if Mark Ingram or Elvin Kamara got hurt, remember when well, I put it to you like this: when Elvin Kamara saying. got hurt, remember that game against yeah, Minnesota when he got he hurt. Suffered. They suffered. We they definitely could, needed the a good offense. Third right, the offense was through. It was through off kilt. You could tell when they tried to go to that one back set. They refused to even play. Uh, the third running back, I forgot the guy's name, but they so were. Lasco Lask- was hurt, and we. Well, it was the third running back, the guy that Lask- we liked that came from Maryland. I forgot the little brother name, but she was. But no, 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 they had cut him. We cut him. Uh... No, you had him. That was your third back. No, we but let him, we let him go, look, look it up again. So this is the bottom line: is <laughs> you're going to need a go you're going to need a back, that. even though you're saying you're looking at it as from a. A, a third string perspective is not the same. Those two guys are looked upon as being starters. They are, they're in the backfield at the same time. They're comparable. You're going to need a guy to come in to do much of the same of both those things that those guys do. Darius Miller does a little what Mark Ingram does. He does a little what Elvin Kamara do. Darius I'm just merely, Darius excuse Geis. me, Darius uh, Geis. You just, you you're going to your have a guy, you're going to have to have a guy that can do that. And you need depth in that position anyway. So why I, that's just merely... My take is you don't want to take him. That that's up to you. But no, Darius, what Geis, are you talking about, man? This man putting words in my mouth. Darius, guys, I don't say I don't think you have to get rid of <laughs> I Mark never Ingram. Said, yes, you. And you do. got one year left on his contract anyway. So all the running backs, I think that you come set yourself leagues, up anyway. Every young running back, you got to reset this roster anyway in a year, right? Every young running back that comes in the league, when you look at all the leading rushes, that don't have yards, to be the case for the same. When you look at all the leading yards that's from scrimmage saying, and all of that. It's always the young guys with running backs. Running backs have a five-year shelf life, typically. So if you well, draft a guy Mark like Ingram's Darius, been in the league a lot longer than five if years. You so. draft a guy like Darius guys in the first round. You're clearly indicating that you're gonna trade Mark Ingram. I don't think that's the case, DC. There's no I'm way saying. you keep both of them. You that's not because an at the end of the year, at the end of the year, trade anybody. At the end of the year, you're gonna let Mark Ingram walk. Darius Geis is Trey a Trey Edmonds is the name of the brother. Trey, Trey Edmonds. Edmonds. Yeah, okay. That, you said uh, the other guy. I told you he was gone. No, Lasko is Trey Edmonds from Maryland. But go ahead, finish your point. But uh, at the end of the year, Mark Ingram going to walk for nothing. So why not trade him? You're not going to get just, anything for him. I just think that if you have You're a You're not going to draft a guy in the first round to be – to be a, a quality backup. The quarterback is the only position that has that luxury. Mark Ingram is... is the his, only position that has that luxury. Mark Ingram is in his eighth season out of University of Alabama. He's he's carried the ball 1,183 times. He's, he's a has good running back, 5,362 yards. If we take Darius Geis, we got to get rid of Ingram. And he had 44 rushing touchdowns. You thinking about P.S. Thomas. And all man. I'm saying we is go, the fact... We fa- do that hold on, with Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. All I'm time. saying, no, 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 you can do it here. You're not it's doing it in the first round. It's not a rule saying that you can it don't make not sense. take... It does because you, you... You see what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying about depth? 
I the guy will see. What you're the guy won't just sit there. He's a kick returner, punt he, returner. You, okay. He's also a guy that you can put in on passing plays. He catches well. He is a what utility if you put him player. Out there, he does better than Mark Ingram. Or just as good. That's even better for the team. I'm not. You get rid are you of Mark are you Ingram? afraid of success? So what are you worried about <laughs> being successful for? That's a, that's what's wrong with you. It's not going to anyway, happen in the first round. Okay, that, that's we can DC. get a good run in All right, like that, DC, in the fourth DC, or the fifth. Okay, DC says no. Okay, we'll just have to if look. If we take him in the first round, we got to get rid of Mark Ingram. That's all I'm saying. I, I would take him and so. trade Mark Ingram. I disagree. I don't think so. I think you can keep making them all work. And I think eventually and that ain't when happen. Mark Ingram's contract <laughs> is up, he might want to come and finish his career with New Orleans. Why? He, he could, ain't going to play. I'm just telling you. That that has happened. He's been here for eight seasons. He's going into his ninth season. So why not finish your? You said that the 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 shelf of the shelf life of a running back is five Typically years. Five years. That's Mark Ingram is going into his ninth year. He's dub, almost doubled up your, well, you your know, his prediction. First, his first so three years, he let's didn't just play forget that about much. it. Okay, well, <laughs> there we go. But anyway, that's my take on it. Is the fact that I believe that. If they do take Darius guys, you know of course we need to start. We need to start setting up polls and, and letting our uh, uh, listeners. Hey, that's vote a great on idea. This. That's a great idea. Let our listeners vote that's on exactly this so they can right. show okay. you how crazy you is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, they all listen to all the, all the people out there. I want y'all to drop y'all comments <laughs> in the section, man. Tell me if I'm crazy uh, or if DC's crazy. Is crazy. Let me know if if it makes sense to you. First round, y'all. The draft a running back in the first round. Of if play if, the third spot, if, just in case listen, somebody. If, if Darius Geis is there, okay, we all know who Darius Geis is, and the Saints happen to take him, it, it, would that be a solid pick, being that Mark Ingram and Elvin Kamara are starters, they play at the same time? Would it be smart to have a running back gadget play like Darius Geis, who kick return, punt return, catches DJ like Moore? a wide receiver, and who can do a lot of what Ingram and Kamara do? Is that crazy? Is DC crazy? Is he on the ganja? You're not. You're Am not. I? If I... If, if I <laughs> <laughs> put me on, on miracle marijuana, man. That's crazy. But oh man, I'm anyway. not saying you crazy to you want to have. It. No, just, I'm not saying you're crazy. I'm not saying the whole world that is I'm crazy. Can I finish my statement, please? No, I'm not. Say- <laughs> I'm not saying you crazy to want to have guys as a third option. What I'm saying is, if you draft a guy that high at running back, he got to play now. Like, there is no such thing. I'm telling you, they got minutes there for him. I'm just telling you. Can you give me a situation where this has ever yes. happened in yes. the NFL? Yes, I'm, I'm saying. In not, the first round? Listen, I'm saying there is minutes there for him. He he could play. He he kick returns. He punt returns. But we, he, we, he we, catch, you, we you, you easily, ask me a question. Allow me to answer your question, please. All I'm saying <laughs> is that he plays special teams. He he kick he 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 is a, he can catch the ball out the backfield. Uh-huh. He can run over people. He does similar a lot of the similar things that Mark Ingram in and my, Elvin Kamara do. I'm my, just uh, and then couple that with the fact that Ingram is in his ninth year. Right. As a as a running back, That's why you trade him? And he has one year remaining on his contract. Why would you not you don't make have this no move? Years. This is the last year, right here. One year. This last year. Right. It's a one year. There ain't no years left. This is the last. That's year. what I said, sir. So, I say, turn up DC's headphones, please. Somebody. Nah, if, I, I, hear I don't you think you heard. Over here talking this uh, poppycock. But right, uh, go ahead, finish your statement. We got to talk about. I, it. I say you you trade him because. You're going to have $5 million tied up in Mark Ingram, and you got a guy, but this is all potential-based. We don't know how it looks till you get him. But potential-wise, I think Darius Geis has the ability to be better than Mark Ingram in the long haul. So you're looking at somebody that could come in day one and be a starter for you, which if he'd had 27, it'd probably be really lucky. Anyway, I don't think he's going to be around. But you got a guy that can be a starter – and you want to keep the other guy that's going to probably walk anyway because you think Mark Ingram going to be happy to split carries three ways, like for real? And he's not going to be the top dog after what he did last year? That's going to be a lot of uh, animosity going on because you know Elvin Kamara going to get his touches because of what he do, what he can do. And if Darius Geis is who we think he is, like he was at LSU, there ain't no way in the world, man. You need all three of those guys. A guy that you want for depth, we would love to get a guy as good as Darius Geis. You just don't want to get him in the first round. You would probably want to get a guy out fifth or sixth round, and then you can justify having that around. How much you going to pay him to be a third uh, depth chart? What, 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 what do they make at the 27 pick? Ain't that like uh, 
Two or three million dollars or something. It's not a lot of money for him to be that. It's no. like three million dollars for some guy to be the third guy, man. Yeah, but you're not. You, you're sitting. You're you, not you gonna, keep thinking like he's going. He's going to be. I'm riding thinking the about the finances Special and teams. everything. They're not going to do it, bro. Uh, I, I disagree with and you. We still, and we still, and we still would need a wide receiver. Uh, we that's still you, need a wide receiver. But you still, still. That's what you got the rest of the picks for. That's what you got the right. The guy from DJ Moore. From uh, Maryland, I wouldn't be mad if raised, they did it. I just don't he's see not, that happening. He's not rated as a first round. Okay, wide well, receiver. answer this to me. You would pick him over a uh, guy Kirk out of Texas A&M. Uh, uh, I why just we, don't why think Why we that. didn't keep he's Reggie Bush? Better. Why we didn't keep Reggie Bush? I can't speak about when, that, so. when we drafted Mark Ingram. It's that was the same scenario. It was, it, was man. A, it was a different. This is a thick roster. They just man, they right the now same three running backs. Right now, they just looking the depth. I'm just telling you honestly. They they they're looking. They got rid of Reggie Bush and signed. Darren Strolls, man. So I mean, that's just I'm looking at it from an economic standpoint. I'm looking at it from a standpoint of hey, we got a, we got Miami. a back that been in the league for nine years. You know, even though he was hurt the first couple of years. Matter of fact, and so, then soon you have as, a final uh, a one year remaining. Mark what Ingram, can I tell you? As soon as Mark Ingram got drafted, Reggie Bush said it was it was a pleasure being in New Orleans with y'all. Thank y'all. I'm out. He knew it. But that's that's not. Man, the you're same, not gonna man. draft a guy. Not, you can't equate Reggie to... Bush and and Mark Ingram in the same. No, I'm like, that, Reggie... that situation was totally different, bro. I'm just saying you got a guy like Darius Geis, bro. Who to me, college career was just as good as Mark Ingram. He didn't win the Heisman because he had a lot of other amazing players around him, but he did put up a kind of Heisman like campaign. So you can't really not put it in that context. I just don't know what you mean, sir. Uh, I, all, all that I can tell you is that looking ahead, the fi- this is the final year of Mark Ingram's contract. <laughs> I'm looking, I got it on Sport Track now. Four Five mi- million dollars. Four, four million dollars. Wait, base change, salary. Put the change on it. We got to round ba- up. Base it? salary. Is What's four, the roster bonus here? Four million flat. We're not talking about that. We're talking about straight salary. Five million dollars. Okay. Straight salary that's affecting the bottom line. Four million. That's all he got left. One year left on his contract. He's 28 years old. He's been with the team going on his night season. My, my case is we can re-up with Mark Ingram or we can get a cheaper version of Mark Ingram to, to tie with a young Elvin Kamara who does a lot of the same things. You think about it. Hit us up on our comment section. Let us know what you think about a, the whole It's not situation. a bad so, idea, but you conveniently leaving out that first round draft pick that we're going to use for it's really a high, it, Actually, it's a 27 pick. It's more like a uh, second round pick. It's a first round pick. It's okay, so round. let's get it right. <laughs> it's in the first it's round. It's a second round pick. Damn it's in the first round. It's at the bottom it's of the first second round pick. We don't pay. What you going to pay? What you going to pay? <laughs> a 27 rank player. What? A couple million? And you talk about fourth? Oh, come on, DC. The numbers don't equal, brother. And you know, I'd be a better like, general manager than you rushing. would be. But anyway, we'll be back on the other side of the break. We're going to talk some boxing. Stay with us on the other side. Thank you. I'm a Saints and Pelicans fan, so the only podcast I can get my fix is The Sports Coma with Big Q. The guy's intense, funny, and they always keep it real. Check out The Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys. 